everybody, Blue here uh, from Blue Outside. I'm inside my house right now. So would that be Blue Inside or Blue Outside? Anyways, that doesn't matter. Uh, actually, today I've actually got a helper with me. My beautiful wife, Mrs. Blue, is here. She probably won't say anything, which is a good thing, but she is here helping me with the camera. It's always good to have a teammate and assistance. Uh, today, we're going to do part two in our Art of Fire. We're going to be talking about Tinder. What is Tinder? Glad you asked. Uh, tinder is a material that will catch a spark quickly and easily and burn at a steady rate in order to get your kindling on fire. Kindling, we'll go into in another video. But I want to talk about Tinder and also what some people consider Tinder or fire starters. It's not the same thing. And sometimes you have what is also called a fire extender. They can all be bunched under tinder. Um, one of the most common things you know when it comes to tinder is what's called a bird's nest. Pretty much you get grass, twig, or really fine twigs, anything that will combust and burn easily. Um, usually when I teach how to start a fire, I say start with hair-like material. Then go to uh, your, uh, your tinder. Then you have your kindling, which would be what I would say is your pinky size. Not necessarily depending on your pinky, but no bigger than a pencil. I just use reference that's on your hand because you have that with you no matter what. You can't carry a pencil. I mean, you can, but most people don't carry a pencil around and all that stuff. Anyways, you have your fingers with you, hopefully. Um, after you go from there, then you want to go something to the thickness of your thumb, move up to thickness of your wrist, up to your forearm. That's where your fuel comes in. So that's how that I teach that. But anyways, it doesn't matter. We're talking about tinder right now. So bird's nest is you get grass, other materials that will catch quickly, fold them into the shape of a bird's nest, just like this right here. Uh, grab some twine, something, wrap it up on the bottom, it holds it. Then you can take a flash tinder, which I always refer to as my thistle fluff, or I've heard it called thistle down. I like saying thistle fluff. Say that five times fast, see what happens. You put that in there, strike it with your ferro rod, it'll start to ignite, turn it over slowly, flames will travel up because heat rises, catch your tinder bundle on fire, slide. Yeah, add fatwood to it. And fatwood is pine of some core sort. Pretty much what you do is you can shave pieces of this off, fray it a little bit. I'll take a knife to it and just, you know, get a little feathering going. Set that on fire. It's right there, high resin. Burns really quick. This is another natural tinder. Another one that you can find out is birch bark. Birch bark's got birch oil in it. It burns really good. Get it to catch. Stick it in your bird's nest. Stick it in underneath your uh, kindling, good to go. Some uh, semi man-made, what I would call it, tenders, cotton. The cotton rounds, rip it up, rip them up. You can get all these fine fibers in there, hit that with a ferro rod, it'll burst in flames. Kind of uh, between a flash tender and a just normal tender because it burns rather quickly unless you add something to it. Something else you can use, cotton balls. Really neat trick I learned with cotton balls the other day. Is they're not actually cotton, they're not balls of cotton, they're actually rolled up cotton. So if you go through here, you can actually find and then roll it. So now you've just extended the length of this tinder. So it will burn, you know, it burns that way. Um, something else with the cotton rounds, if you go from semi flash tinder, melt those in wax. You know, get melted wax, dip them in there, let them harden. They fray, they'll catch a spark just like that, they just burn slower, a lot slower. It extends your fire time, makes it a fire extender. Um, buy the mini Infernos. 
you know, they come in the little tin. They're just the same about as these, except they've actually, they've got like a kerosene lighter fluid smell to them. You can buy man-made tenders. Or something else people don't, you know, juke twine. I made a bird's nest out of juke twine. Buy a roll of this, keep it in your pack, or take just three or four feet up with you. That works. They sell these Dura Flame Fire Starts. We got these for our um, wood burning stove in our basement. They're actually a tinder, not a fire starter. Fire starter is ignition. You know, you light these, they burn. Instead of a thing on fire. Also, steel wool. Hit that with a ferro rod, it lights up just like the cotton balls. You can actually put that there, put your cotton on top of it, put it in your bird's nest, light it on fire.